guys welcome to another beautiful video and thank you so much for tuning in today's video okay I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to the point okay today's video I'm just gonna give a few um, tips why you should prepare to go to Africa and if you don't you're definitely going to be having a very tough time whether you're repatriating to stay for good or you're just going to go visit so you have to remember it is a country that you have never been to you know so if you're going you have to be well prepared and when i say well prepared with some good money hey with some good money wait a minute <laughs> So, if you plan to go to Africa and you know you're broke or you have a thousand dollars, two thousand, three thousand dollars, and you plan to repatriate, don't go. Like, seriously, it's gonna be really tough for you unless you're someone who wants to live a bit poor, you know, because you have to consider a lot of stuff. Africa is cheap but can be expensive as well. But it depends on how you want to live. You want to live like a rich African or you want to live like a middle class African or you want to live like a poor African it's up to you you can live anyhow you want to live but don't expect to go there and find things everything cheap because so many people confuse Africa is cheap for the real Africa when we say it's cheap yes it's cheap it depends on how cheap you want it to be and it depends on the kind of lifestyle you want to live okay so kodo is important kodo is money so the very first thing I'm gonna start with is housing housing is the most important thing you want to consider when you are moving to Africa because housing can be expensive depending on where you want to live and it can also be cheap depending on where you want to live so don't go to Africa wanting to live in Sheraton Hotel or Kairaba Beach Hotel for three months and you expect to pay chicken change for it mm -mm. it's going to be very very pricey because these places are meant to be pricey you want to find an accommodation that is you know low cost so that you can um, take care of other things that you need to tackle because you have to remember it's not only housing you need transportation you need to buy a lot of stuff you need electricity you need um, water and all these things you will have to pay for okay internet very important for the people that are going to Africa internet is one of the most important thing because we're just so addicted to the internet nowadays that when I don't have my phone for a few hours, I start looking crazy. I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? While you're looking at houses, if you are repatriating or you are moving and you intend to stay for quite a while or even a short time, you know, you're going to save a lot of money if you stay away from these very expensive hotels. You know, you want to get an apartment, be it a two bedroom or a one bedroom apartment. That is just enough for you or your family. And you can get these very easily because there's a lot of homes uh, in Gambia or, that, or you can find in Africa that, or you can find in Africa that there's nobody uh, in them. They're just renting them out for the meantime, you know, and some of these people might even be abroad. You know, they just build a big house and then leave it there for for a while so they rent it out so you want to find places like that even if you're um, gonna stay in the country forever like maybe you moved for good you you want to find a low-cost rent 
so that you can prepare to build your own home. You might not have it as fancy as you want it to be, but as long as you're preparing something for yourself, you know, you're trying to build for yourself, you're going to be good. You need to adapt to a lot of things, okay? And to be honest, you can find really, really good homes to rent in Gambia or any other part in Africa. And when I say do not go broke, I'm not saying you should be shoot I'm not saying you should be um, super rich, but you need to plan for it. Who goes to another country without money? Like nobody, nobody does that, okay? So the next thing that a lot of people complain about is electricity. Electricity, light is a major issue in a lot of African countries. And if you're going to go to Africa, you have to be ready and know that you're going to experience this that you're not going to have electricity okay so the way you can solve that is by getting a generator or if you're renting somewhere the place has a generator please services it like that but you for sure especially if you're coming from the diaspora you need a generator because you're going to experience a lot of on and offs in the Gambia or other parts of Africa. So that is a major issue that so many people complain about. And when that happens, guess what? It is, it's as hot as hell in Africa. And when there's no light, goodness, oh my God. It is so hot, you don't even know. You like, we literally sometimes take off our clothes when it's hot and you start finding yourself. But if you have a generator, you know, you can use that. You can um, walk your AC through it. You can walk your fan through it. So yeah, that is very important to always consider having a generator when you move. So another thing that so many people would not like about Africa or Gambia will be that in a majority of homes, you will not find a water heater unless maybe you live in a hotel but if you live in like a regular home you may not find a water heater and we know that people in the diaspora are so spoiled including me with um hot water you know we always want to take shower with hot water and sometimes the water can be a bit cold if you're not used to using cold water for someone like me I don't know it's been a while since I showered with cold water I hate cold water but I can manage because I was born there I was brought up there I spent 22 years of my life there so why should it be so hard for me to you know take a shower the old way I used to because with or without the heater I used to take my shower with cold water so yeah but some of you but for some of you who are in the diaspora, that might be a new thing for you. The way you can solve that is by getting uh, or installing um, water heating systems in your house or wherever you live. And you, I believe they have a solar one too, like the solar water heater. So you have to um, leave that at the back of your mind. I really don't know much about them, but I heard people talking about it. So... Just know that you're not going to have an installed, already installed water heater in your house. So that is something that you may want to um, consider uh, inquiring about before you go. And also there will be times that you might have some water shortage. So when that happens, maybe the water might not come through your shower if you're using a shower head. But if that happens, you can use a bucket. A bucket put water there and goes to the shower and just boom that's what I used to do but when there's water shortage and you know you're used to a shower then you might have to use that alternative to take a shower so these are some things that a lot of people also don't like and just because they're not used to it so leave that at the back of your mind and it's something you need to adapt to when you are going to Gambia or Africa Another one I want to talk about is that you're going to see lots of animals. Lots of animals like goats, you're going to see um, sheep, you're going to see cows, you're even going to see donkeys, and you can see them anywhere. It's normal. You know, animals do walk freely in Gambia. Like, it's not like here in America or other parts of Europe where donkeys just don't walk the way anyhow they want to walk or you can see ships um, walking down the streets. These are things that happen in Africa. And this even includes at the beach side. Yes, at the beach 
side you might see animals there it's okay and you're gonna be just fine the next thing you might find very very inconvenient will be the roads the roads the roads the roads and transportation the roads are not all perfect like America you know maybe a two-way road here they can make it a four-way road so it's pretty tight and also not just tight but you know places like Gambia there's just too much dust and I guess you might want to go with your wipes and be wiping yourself because it can be very dusty with that red sand and it's also very crowded outside you know compared to America you have walkways where people have somewhere to walk and and the cars are giving their way to do whatever they want to do so in Africa we don't have that maybe in other African countries but in Gambia we don't have that we don't have walkways so you need to be really careful and it's really crowded so if you're someone who is like ah then I don't know that might not be the kind of place you want to be so while we're talking about the roads let's talk about transportation and how expensive it can be transportation is very expensive if you don't have your own car so this is why you need your own car if you're going to move to Gambia there's no uber there no uber in Gambia and you're going to have to pay uh, taxi drivers to keep taking you back and forth to anywhere that you're going and that itself can be very expensive or you can or you might want to take town trip and when you take um, a taxi it takes up to like four people yes four people and if you just want to be the only person in the car maybe you don't want to be um, in the taxi with other people then you might have to consider town trip okay you might have to consider town trip and that itself can be expensive as well unless you have so much money and you don't mind but if you're trying to budget whatever you have then you have to find a very reliable transportation whereby you don't have to be paying somebody else you know so getting a car is important so the last thing i'm gonna talk about which a lot of people do stress about will be the way people are gonna look at you if you come from the diaspora if you are an african-american a british caribbean or or just a caribbean okay people are gonna be looking at you as if you got money because they think that people have money in the diaspora i mean these are people that don't understand the struggles that we go through here you go in there with your accent and the way you dress and the way you smell is going to attract a lot of people not in a negative way you know definitely not in there because they're not gonna do anything bad to you but for instance if you, they might think you have money and sometimes when you go to um, buy stuffs people might want to uh, overcharge you a bit because they think you have money you know so the way you can deal with that is having a local to go with you at certain places that you think you might be using money at so that means you have to connect with the local people and it doesn't matter where in Africa you are you need to connect with the local people someone you can trust someone that can help you you know negotiate a lot of things someone that can help you around uh, the country or wherever you want to go to this is gonna help you save money because then there is someone that knows what goes on there and will help you in a lot of money deals okay don't ever keep to yourself that's not a, that's not even a good idea to just keep to yourself when you go to Africa okay because we don't buy it and it's not as you know crazy as the West whereby you need to be careful of who you you know connect with you need to be careful of who's talking to you yes I know you still need to be careful because these are people you don't know but it is a lot safer you want to have local connections just to be on the safe side and you're going to enjoy every bit of your travel these are things that people some people um, complain about you might get a little uncomfortable with you know people yelling and screaming or kids yelling and screaming or music playing but it is Africa this is how we roll and you need to get used to that as well and not just keep complaining about it so leave that at the back of your mind okay um that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and if you do don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video bye guys